Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of planet Earth, its billionaire mission to fuck up man's mind. Okay, that's enough. Seriously though, space belongs in science fiction, not fact. We have all been brought up to believe in a fake cosmology. The ever-expanding universe created from a Big Bang. But what caused it to explode? Where did this atom come from? Was it just happened to float in space or nothingness? This explosion then spontaneously created billions of galaxies, billions and trillions of stars, and therefore possibility of billions of planets. What if it's the complete opposite of this. What if the Earth is an enclosed system? All the evidence is pointing to this fact. The simple fact of the matter is that gas has to be contained. This fact alone blows the heliocentric model out into outer space. Then the astronomers ask, have you ever looked at a planet through a telescope? Yes. When you look at the night sky, you will see lights of different shapes and sizes. You would only equate a light to a planet because somebody, somebody told you it's a planet. You presuppose what you're seeing is a planet. Planets do not exist. They are simply wandering stars. Meaning, they have retrograde motion. There is absolutely no evidence that these planets are terra firma and you can go and visit and set up colonies there. That is all science fiction. We are not moving through space. Logic dictates that if we are moving, then we should see different stars and different constellations each night. There is no parallax. We have been observing the same stars for millennia, if not more. If you are a rational human being, you must by now accept that the moon landings were one of the biggest psyops by a government in history. If the moon landings were real, then there wouldn't be any discrepancies with film footage and photos. They would be real and would have no flaws. This photo debunks the moon landings. Look at the uh, the moon buggy. Look how big it is. Even if the even if they fold it and put it into that com contraption, do you think there will be any room for two three two men? I don't think so. Look at the lander. It looks like it's made of a uh, cardboard and tin foil. 
this wouldn't have been scrutinized this close in the 1960s and 1970s because they didn't have the technology today with high definition software we can debunk the moon landings very very easily however if you want to close your eyes and blind, be blind to, the th blind to the truth then so be it nobody can help you except yourself what's wrong with this picture I'll give you a few seconds to, uh, to think about it this is a view of earth from the cupola of the ISS it's made of glass glass is a big problem in space they tell us that there are that space is a dangerous environment because of micrometeorites they tell us that sand sized particles of space debris are flying about at breakneck speeds of hundreds of thousands of miles per hour and can destroy man made vehicles yet they have they have they have glass in space this is unbelievable also the vast vacuum of space will will exert tremendous amount of pressure onto this glass if you believe in gravity then the gravitational pull of the earth is pulling the vehicle one way towards the earth and the more powerful gravitational pull of the sun is pulling it the other way towards the sun so where is the equilibrium this is complete horseradish then some people quite rightly ask why would the space agencies therefore the governments spend so much money on deceiving the world why would they do this that is a valid point that is a good question and deserves an answer you have to remember that these governments they print the money money is nothing but a tool to these governments and they have made a decision long ago to push the heliocentric model and they have to push it right to the end unless of course they change their minds and tell the truth for once 